All right, so we're gonna start today with making hamburgers using red cabbage. I know they've normally used green, but for some reason the store didn't have any green cabbage, so we're gonna use red today. And we've also already cut up some onions, and then we're going to use our little salad spinner. And in there, we have our cilantro being cleaned. So let's get this stuff cut up and ready and seasoned. And you see, we're gonna cut. cut well, it's not easy cut, to cut. Cut, cut. Red cabbage, baby. Fresh. Cut by cut by cut. Sursky. Get it set, set. You think the Cabbage. green is hard to cut, the red is harder. It's gonna be more flavorful. More flavorful. Yeah. First, you're gonna take your pan. Um, I would suggest a cookie sheet. Um, I don't have any cookie sheets. And then you're going to take a little oil. And then you're going to season a little bit here. And as you get your pieces cut, then you're gonna lay them down. So you're gonna actually try to find a nice piece and you're gonna lay it down because that's gonna be the size of your burger. All right, next you wanna take your hamburger meat, mix all of your seasonings in there and then you're gonna build you a burger. Now, here's what I got cut out so far. Now, you gotta keep in mind, the, when you see them professionally done, they're taking three and four pieces of ca whole cabbages and, until they get the best slices. I don't got food to waste like that, so here we go. This is what we got. This is what we gotta deal with. <laughs> so next, we're gonna go ahead and season these up, and then we're going to put the hamburger meat on right. top. So I've sized out my burgers. Yeah, they're all different sizes. You guys, this happens in real life. <laughs> and I had some extra meat over, so I'm putting that inside in there because I actually have um, another project that I'm going to be working on next. So I just basically made them about mm -hmm. the size of the cabbage to make this work. And now we're going to go ahead and stick them in the oven. All right, so I'm making cabbage burgers. And I'm adding the cheese. Mm-hmm. On the excess cabbage I had left over, I fried it. All right, the cabbage burgers are ready. Now you just dress them up as you would a regular hamburger. Didn't need cheese on all of them, just only on the main three. Whoops, I flipped it over. Real life, you guys, this happens. <laughs> all right, I fixed up my burger, and now it's time to eat it. And I'm going to eat it with a fork. I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you comment and let me know your thoughts. And if you want to know, was that good? Oh my God, it was really good. Um, what I've learned is with the red cabbage, you will need to cook it just a little bit longer than what you would on a green. Because it's, I don't know, it's harder. That burger was good. It makes you actually appreciate what a burger should taste like when it's missing the bread. Because it's all the stuff in between the bread that you actually like. So that's something to consider.